All right, I'm here doing a uh, little tutorial, or so I thought, about how to control the iris on the Blackmagic cameras via SDI. At this point, I realized that um, here I have the Blackmagic broadcast cameras, and I realized that you have to go, you probably can't see this because it's so dark, you have to go to the SDI in, and not the reference in, time code in, to uh, make the controls work. Or so I think. Let me try again to make sure I'm not wrong. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So if you're using like what I'm using, the Black Magic Production Studio broadcast panel 4K that has uh, all the built-in stuff. You'll notice that you have all these controls here, but apparently you can only control the iris of all cameras. This does not correspond with the cameras. Apparently this is talk back, unless somebody can tell me different. I thought this would uh, choose the camera and control the camera, but it does not control individual cameras. The feed is going through. Uh, I can't really get a good shot of it, but uh, your uh, SDI outs is basically just a program out for return. Unless somebody else can tell me different, but uh, if you can't see that there, it says iris control. I'll show you here. I do have iris control, but if you see both cameras, it's only controlling both cameras and not individual cameras. But the weird thing is, is when I choose two, it controls neither. So I'm thinking there's something not correct here uh, in my setup. Please tell me. Um, if you know, two uh, Blackmagic Ursa broadcast cameras uh, with SDI feeds going out and in on the return on the broadcast panel. Um, I tried to use the software, same thing, it only works on channel one for control. There has to be a reason. If somebody could tell me, please do. But as of now, I can only shade one or all cameras at once. Which leads me to believe that's their uh, incentive for you to buy the Blackmagic camera control, which I may just do because uh, I need this for a show. Um, and uh, coming up soon, like I said, it's dark in here. If you can't tell or can't see it, oh, there we go. I just bought the E2 Gen 1, which uh, I know only has uh, a few 4K options, but that's going to be a great addition to this year for Headway ATX. So uh, stay tuned. Maybe somebody can help me figure out why I cannot individually control these beautiful Blackmagic Ursa broadcast cameras. Thank you.